Hey everybody, welcome to RemTV and welcome back to MLB The Show 19 New York Mets franchise. This is episode, I believe this is 33 now. And um, if you guys aren't caught up, look for a playlist on my channel. And here we are for this August 1st game. Um, but before we actually play or quick manage a game, I'm uh, just going to sum up, uh, I guess, what's going on in the league. Uh, let's start off with the standings uh, for where we're around the league. So, we, well, actually, we are half a game behind the Nationals. I didn't expect it since we have a four game winning streak. Um, we are only half a game behind the Nationals. Uh, we have the Cardinals leading the NL Central, uh, Dodgers leading the NL West by a long shot, and we are on top of the wild card. So, we're going to be probably flipping back and forth depending on if we're in the National League East, or, I mean, winning the National League East or the wild card. So, it all depends. And uh, let's go to the American League. American League East is leading by the Yankees three and a half games over the Red Sox. Indians are still running away with it uh, for the AL Central. And then for the AL West, we got the Astros leading by five games. And then for the wild card, we have the Angels and the Red Sox. And let's see, let's go for the league leaders. For the National League, we got Matt Carpenter leading an average of 352. American League is Nelson Cruz with 331. For home runs here. For the American League, I'm Mookie Betts with 25. National, oops, National League, it is Cody Bellinger with 29. Uh, let's see. Let's keep moving here. For RBIs, for National League, is Matt Carpenter with 88. American League is Mookie Betts with 82. And then for stolen bases, we got Jonathan Villar with 38. National League is Trey Turner with 33. Let's move on to the pitching. Uh, we got Ivan Nova leading the way for the uh, for the wow the American League with 14 wins had a brain fart. Uh, Walker Buehl with 13 wins, right behind Nova Syndergaard and Dallas Keuchel with 12. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else we got here? For ERA, we got Walker Buehl leading the way 1.88 ERA. This kid is a beast. Oh my gosh, he's absolutely killing it. Uh, no in guards in there somewhere. Yeah, with number six with a 2.5 year uh, I don't think we can catch him to be honest. And leading strikeouts is Jacob DeGrom with 184. With a 11-8 uh, record, a 3.03 year Alright, so let's go for the awards. Um, we're not winning any of this to be honest. But we got Matt Carpenter leading the way. 352, 25 home runs, and 88 RBIs. American League is Mookie Betts with a uh, a 323 average, 25 home runs, 82 RBIs. Uh, for Cy Young, we got Charlie Morton for the American League. And then we, for National League, we have Walker Bueller uh, being chased by the two Mets. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'll be able to catch them, but I mean, we, can, we can try. Uh, batting title, Matt Carver, obviously. And then Nelson Cruz is the way for American League. Uh, believe of the year for National League, Felipe Vasquez. Addison Reed, Addison Reed, uh, former Met Addison Reed is leading the way with uh, 28 saves, 1.6 ERA, 36 strikeouts. Rookie of the year, it's going to be Yusei Kikuchi for uh, the, for the Mariners with a one, one, uh, 10 and 6 ERA, uh, 10 and 6 win record, 4.05 ERA with 139 strikeouts. National League. Of course, it's our boy, Pete Alonso, batting 288, 20 home runs, 57 RBIs. Um, and a bunch of this is just those Hank Aaron awards, blah, 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 so that doesn't really matter to me. So, that is what's going on in the uh, around the league. And we are going to go for a sweep against the White Sox. Call ups, uh, whatever. Anyway, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is? Why is there a giant? I thought you should know that Jonathan VR was waved by the Orioles. Huh? What people wave? Interesting. Um, main player? No. Uh, let's claim Jonathan VR. Who knows? Maybe I'll be able to get him. Maybe I will. I don't know. Um, who else? Do? Yeah, let's go for Josh. 
Josh Donaldson, why not? If I can get VR, uh, maybe I'll get uh, Moustakis. And I'm just looking around here who I can pick up. Probably, yeah, as soon as I hit the 70s, I probably, I'm probably not going to be that interested, no offense. Um, okay, anyway, enough of that. Um, so let's quick manage this next game. Alright, so we got Dallas Keuchel on the mound. And going for that 13th win. Let's go get it, guys. Let's not let him down. We got Irvin Santana up for the uh, twi for for the White Sox, almost the Twins. Uh, so hopefully we can get a W here. Double by Cano. Nope. Ah. Triple. Wow. All right, there you go. Ties things up. Loaded for Cespedes. Ah, uh, ground out. One Dallas. Damn it. Not looking good. Come on, guys. We got to produce here. Some pitching changes. Let's put in. Let's put in Lula. All right, there you go. All right, there you go. Ties things up. All right. I'm okay with that. So long, my Cespedes, and we are up here in the eighth inning. Wow. Diaz shut things down. And we win 4 to 3. For a comeback behind victory, Ahmed Rosario, the player of the game, with a double and a triple. Seth to go gets the win. That's his fifth win. Now he's the 5 and 2. Edwin Diaz is 20th save. I like it. Advanced day. Uh, auto utilize. And then we got Zach Wheeler versus Trevor Williams. Uh, we're facing the Pirates again. We faced them. Just recently in City Field, so shouldn't be too difficult, hopefully. And actually, before we do that, let's check the standings. We are now tied with the Nationals, the 65 and 44 record. So let's catch. Let's, let's get a little hot here, guys, and let's win out these few games in August to to really get that first place in the East. Got Ramos, put in Darno. Uh, Loss is all tied. Cespedes was put in Gomez. I think we'll be okay for now. Let's get it started. Solo Hermon by McNeil. That's a good way to start things. Single by Alonzo. Ah. Come on. Wheeler. Three run home by Conforto, and he is on fire lately. Oh my gosh. Damn it, Lugo. Recuperen la 
Really, Lugo? Kill me here, man. Gregerson here. Freaking horrible. Jeez, man. So down three. Lost nine to six. We do get the loss. Ah, it sucks. That sucks really bad. And now we're back to a game behind the Nationals. That's the best thing we can really do. Let's check out the schedule here, and we are going to be playing Jacob deGrom um, against Chad Cool again. Uh, yeah, I guess so, why not? Um, that's weird because the last. Was it? Let's see, I played this game with Syndergaard. Did I play this game? I don't even remember. I think, or did I simulate that? I don't remember. Because we won 6 1 both of these games. Uh, crap, I don't remember. But anyway, I think, we, I think we played this game last time. Let's see. Let me check the box score. This is. Let's see, let's see. Neil Gomez. No, that was not me. That was just a simulation or a quick manage. Yeah, anyway, so we're going to be playing. Uh, another game with uh, Jacob DeGrom versus Chad Cool uh, against Pittsburgh, who is in the running for the wild card. So we're going to try to knock them off and let's get this win so we can get ready for this series against the Nationals here. Look at this. Three-game series. I might, have played, I might want to play two out of three of that series. Just letting you guys know. Um, but anyway... I'll see you guys in Pittsburgh. You, I, I want to ask you, did you find that you started to really pitch better? Oh, oh my gosh, ball. really? Hit out the straightaway center. Into the bushes and gone. Oh, it's a two-run home run to Dickerson. It's going to be two-nothing Pirates here in the first inning. And DeGrom doesn't look Colin good Murray. right now. Can't spot his pitches. Look at this, another base hit. What is going on? This will bang up against the wall. He'll get it into second. Not in time, and he's in there. Hit hard to shoot. Face it by Nemo. There you go. Everybody up. It's runners at first and second. Put the pitcher spot next. I'm not sure if I should bunt, though. I guess depending on the count. Just a base hit. At least a run run, man. There you go. That's a base hit by McNeil. That's going to drive in two runs. He's running first. Throw goes to second, and he's going to be safe. That is a two-run double by Jeff McNeil. The squirrel is clutch. And that is a moonshot for Conforto. If it stays fair, and it does, that is a two-run home run for Michael Conforto. That is number 28 in the season. The Mets are up four to two here in the third. Number 28 on the season, and it gives the Mets a four-two lead. There are certain guys in. I thought that was gonna be foul. He pulled it. Just enough. Stay fair. Gallardo hits it to right field, and it's off the wall. It's gonna be a double for Jed Lowry. Two outs here in the third inning. It's a base hit by the Grom. That's going to be an RBI. That's an RBI single for Jacob the Grom, and now the game is five to two with two outs. Some two out magic by Jacob the Grom, and look at Chad Cool, seventy-one pitches already. Two three innings. A two-out knock given up to the opposing pitcher. Now the pitch. One two to Frazier. 
Down with a fastball. That's the Grum's first strike out of the game. And it comes in the third inning. There's a strikeout to Moran. And the Grum gets out of a little trouble. That is a home run by Alonzo. If it's fair, it's gone. And it hits the... It hits the wall in the back. What a shot by Pete Alonso. That is number 21. Going 448 feet. As I said, if it's fair, it's gone. Oh my gosh. Deep center field. That makes things 6 to 2 for the Mets here in the fourth. Let's take a look at our replay. The 3 1 count. Oof. My goodness. Pete Alonso showing his strength against. I almost said the, the Steelers, but the Pirates. And that is also gone from Cespedes. Don't even think about it. It's out of here. That is a solo shot by Ioana Cespedes. That is number 27 for the year. It's now 7-2 to two here in the fourth. Two home runs in an inning. And oh boy, this game got out of hand real quick. Three straight innings, I believe, where they scored at least a run. Guys, we've seen four big balls between the two Oof. teams so far today. What are your impressions of the hey, long player? Found their homework on Jacob no DeGrom. Like, a a Ooh, and got him with a curveball. Little a good ball. So at second. Ooh, I don't know. I think he can test that. No? All right, so a run scores on a, on a fearless choice. It's 7-3. That'll bring up the converted shortstop from his days at Stetson University, Jacob DeGrom. Ooh, another hit by Jacob DeGrom, and he goes the opposite direction. It's going to be a double. Jacob DeGrom slapping the ball, going past third base, and he is safe with a stand-up double. Look at this guy. Well, that throws Marte in a strike. And finally, the umpire calls something. All right, so this is going to be DeGrom's last batter. As he closes things off with six innings pitched, three runs given up, and I think four or five strikeouts. And that's up 7 to 3. Pittsburgh down to their last strike. Now it's swinging the ground ball. Right, this should be out number three in the ninth. The ball game's over, and the Mets win seven to three. Behind the home runs of Conforto. Uh, uh, Lagares, uh, Alonso, and Cespedes. Of course, Jacob DeGrom's starting pitcher gets the win. Uh, giving up three runs through six innings, seven hits, three walks. That's a lot more than I'm used to, and Pete Alonso is the player of the game, but I'm 2 for 4, again with that home run and an RBI. Chad Cool gets his 7th loss, LeBron gets his 12th win. So, again, that Cy Young race is getting a little closer. So, yeah, that wraps it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my franchise with the New York Mets. Don't forget, to, don't forget to click the like button, leave any comments below, and as usual, subscribe, and hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy, and peace.